Hey, welcome back. So we finished up the cabinet. We uh, put some poly on it and put in the boards that we needed to, the shelf in there and the bottom of this thing that we had cut on the bandsaw and uh, came out pretty well. Happy with it, considering it was made from a board and an old box that was laying around. So it came out pretty well. Mounted up on the wall here and uh, it looks good. I'm happy with it. You'll notice too that it has a frame, face frame on it. And that's because when I went to mount the hinges, I realized that the screws were half an inch long and the box sides were only 5 16. So uh, that wasn't going to work. So I decided to uh, make this little face frame. And um, it was kind of in keeping with the project and the fact that we just had a scrap piece over there. It was a rip. If you can imagine, we actually hold on to rips like this and it's for reasons like that. Um, it's helpful to have and uh, we end up using them. So I put that on there and the screws didn't, didn't come running out of there. So let me roll you closer. All right, so right now I just have a block plane in here and I'm keeping a couple of planes in here and oh, an espresso. Oh, that's delicious, Gavin. Thank you. So these are a couple of the planes that we use typically around the shop. Um, a block plane, obviously, some of these smaller little planes and smoother. And we have other big hand planes, but I have no idea how to use them. They're just too big and they end up tilting side to side, but that's another story. So, but these are the ones I actually can control and the ones that we use typically on some of our jobs, obviously the block plane all the time. But here's the cabinet, it came out pretty great. Um, as I said, we had to put this face frame on it because we were blowing through the sides with, with the holes, but the uh, shelf worked out right. I mean, obviously we probably could have put another one, but um, this is this is just fine. And really it was more just the effort of doing this than it was anything else. But it's just to show that, you know, you can you can make these things out of very, very little material and, and they're pretty slick. I have a bigger one of these that I made from two by sixes that I took out of an old house. They were that really beautiful tight grain dug fur. And uh, I keep that on my bureau upstairs in my room and keep my watches and all my pocket knives and stuff like that in there. Otherwise they'd be all over my room and who knows, I would probably never be able to find them. So here it is, I'm, I hope you like it. I hope you make things like that. And if you do, um, send me a picture of it. I'd like to see it. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and, and send them on over. So, that's that project, and I hope you give it a shot, and the final thing really is, one of the things that we like to do with these things, why we do all these things, is because we, we don't have unlimited resources in this world, and, and we're going through them really fast, so let's start trying to change our mindset from going out and buying everything, and, and buying everything new, and buying cabinets at Ikea and blah, blah, blah. I mean, if you have material in your shop, try and make something like this. And everything in your shop should be made from something that, that some wood that you had laying around and, and get creative with it and make all your racks and make all your cabinets and all that yourself. And let's see if we can you know, save the world a little bit and let our kids have a shot at woodworking before we get rid of all the trees. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Send me some comments if you have any, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.